Hello hey guys and gals, it's me Norex and welcome back to Intermediate C++ programming tutorial. So I decided to move the static keyword down here because we don't really need to know it just yet. It is important but it's not that important. Let's talk a little bit about structs and see exactly what they are and how they differ in C and C++. Okay, so yeah, this is the residue from the last video. Let me just go ahead and clean that up. Well, relatively clean it up. It's still pretty goddamn messy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some bad design, but don't worry about it. You don't have to do it. You shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it. Anyhow. Okay, so let's talk about structs and classes. Well, you already know what classes are. You can do something like this, class, my class, whatever. So this is basically what my class looks like. Let's do some like int a, and that's basically it. All right, now let's do the same thing. Struct my struct and a. Okay, so I've created a class and a struct. They look exactly the same, except the fact that you put class here and you put struct here. So the only difference they have right now is the keyword. And now we're going to talk about the differences in and only in C++. We don't care about C just yet. Only C++. Don't worry, we'll get to the C part in this video, but yeah. Okay, so what the hell is the difference between a struct and a class in C++? Well, honestly, there's not that big of a difference. The only difference you have, which we're going to see right now, is right here. So my class, my struct, ms, or mc and ms, I can do mc dot, and as you can see, there's absolutely nothing, because everything is de by default private. So everything is like this in my class. I can't access that a variable. But it's a bit different when we talk about structs. So in structs, everything is default, is public by default. So ms.a is easy peasy, mc.a is going to be an issue because it's not public, it's private. As you can see here, declared at line 6, whatever member my class a declared at line 6 is inaccessible. It means we can't access it. So if I just take this out, they both mean the same thing. They're still the same, nothing has changed, that's basically it. Okay, but what the hell do we know about structs? But wh why should we have structs anyways? Well, the reason to that is we usually use classes to declare the entire objects of things. Let's say you want to create a car. A car can be put into a class. But we don't really do that with structs. What we do usually with structs is we put data in it. All right? And that's basically it. So you can do something like a human scheme, or something like that. You can do int, or yeah, int age, character pointer name, character pointer, I don't know, surname, um, <laughs> character pointer SSN, you know, whatever the hell. You buy, you, you don't really, you know, by standard put functions within your struct structure okay you put them in your class you don't put any kind of function in your struct you can but you don't do that so you can do something like int um, get name void const or get an age or whatever character pointer get name const and then you can open it and just, then just return name so you can do this but you don't do this okay this is the difference between a struct. I mean, it's not you don't do this. You can do this. Okay, it's basically just your choice. But uh, I wouldn't do this because it's my standard and I follow my own standard. Okay, so the main difference in C++ is that class is public by default. Default. Default, bro. All right, and struct is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Private by default. What the hell am I saying? public by default. Okay, so the default way they're private and public. And don't worry, you can use all sorts of BS that you can do on classes, on structs. If classes can have inheritance, structs can also have inheritance in C++. Don't worry if you don't get it, we're gonna get into that video pretty soon. Pretty soon actually. Okay, 
So that's the main difference between the structs and the classes in C++. But what the hell is the difference between the struct in C and struct in C++? So as you know, there is no classes, there is no class structure in C. There's absolutely nothing in C. C++ was the first, I think, was the first language that brought the object-oriented design. And so C++, I think, not sure about it, was the first language that uh, brought in the concept of class and inheritance, polymorphism, all that good stuff. So before that, in C, we didn't have that. But we had struct. We knew we could use struct, and it was a pretty good design. But what's the difference between class, uh, I'm sorry, between struct and C and in C++? So the biggest difference, and I think the only difference, is that struct in C++ can have functions. Struct in C cannot have functions, and that's the only difference they have at all. Okay, this guy can't can have functions. If it was if we were talking about C, structs couldn't have functions. Now let me just demonstrate that for you real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new item, and it's killing me. Come on, bro. So we're gonna do structs.c. Some simple thing like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a struct right here, and let's actually do it in a better way. Type def struct. This is how you create structs in C. Alright, so this is our C source code. This is our C struct. I can't have functions within my struct. I can't do something like int a. As you can see, it's already giving me an error. Uh, a function type is not allowed here, and it's expected a thing. It just isn't going to allow me to do anything. It just isn't going to allow me to create functions within my structs. And yes, you do structs like this in C. You type the struct. Basically, what this means is that type of struct, whatever. Anyhow, so in C environment, we are not allowed to have functions, but we are allowed to have function pointers in C structs. And that's kind of, you know, a, a workaround to having classes a little bit inside C, but I wouldn't really count on it. It's just a whole lot of pain. And yeah, that's basically what it is. We can't have classes and we can't have functions in C structs. We can't have functions in C++ structs, and that's the main difference. And this is the principle we follow inside the C++ environment. We do it the C way. And so that's all there is to it. All there is to it. Anyhow, guys, that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, do leave a comment. And if you really enjoyed it, do subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.